the looming span of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, a feat of engineering that has shaped life on the Kitsap Peninsula for decades. If that bridge wasn't there, it'd be a whole different story. And at the nearby Harbor History Museum, Director Stephanie Lyle says, Yeah, this is great. Decades later, and there it goes. They're still learning more yeah. about the bridge's infamous collapse. And you can definitely tell that the wind is blowing pretty hard. Video of that disaster plays on a loop in the museum, but for the first time, they've discovered new footage from a new perspective. So this is pretty amazing because we usually see it from the Tacoma side, but not the Gig Harbor side. It's shot close to the bridge so that I can actually see the towers, the hanging bits of road. A shocking angle, to say the least. It, as far as anybody ever knew, there was never anything shot from the Gig Harbor side. Lyle says the donor came forward recently. They believe the original 8mm film was shot by Arthur Leach, a civil engineer turned toll collector and caretaker for the span. In the 70s, the aging video was projected and reshot on tape. And so we get a little bit of narration from Arthur Leach, and so by getting some of his commentary, we're getting kind of that toll collector, state highway department point of view that would be totally lost if he hadn't done that. They, they crawl out onto the approaches, and he's kind of talking about uh, how they were going to bring the jackhammers in. And these new images add perspective to the history of the Narrows. Yeah, and the whole center span just... It's incredible. Context that easily could have been lost forever, if not for a donor that thought to watch an old VHS tape instead of throwing it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. You got to look at the treasures you have stuck away in the attic, in the back drawer here and there, and just see if it's something that is truly that thing that needs to be saved. The toll sign is there, but the bridge is destroyed. So it's like, yep, it's going to be a little while till you can get across that bridge again. And now Lyle hopes it will help people appreciate the two bridges that replaced it. We had Galloping Gertie, the first bridge. And then we had Sturdy Gertie, the, the second bridge. And now the third bridge, people call it Greedy Gertie. But <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute. Every time they cross the sound from Tacoma to Gig Harbor. When you see these massive chunks of roadway just literally crash into the water, um, that changes your perspective of like what a bridge does and what it's about and how can these um, kind of feats of engineering crumble to bits. It's a whole different view now. And the museum held a sold out screening of that footage, seven minutes in total last night, along with a talk to give it context. There's another sold out show coming up and they hope to add a fourth one after that. So you can have a chance to see this full footage as well. We'll have a link to their website so you can keep a tab on our website, king5.com. Live in Tacoma, Michael Crow, King 5 News.